What is up guys? It is your girl Mindy, the Karmic DF from TikTok. And today we're going to talk about why we are all inherently psychic and what you can do in order to be able to start to connect with your guides, to start to ascend to a different level, to actually connect with the other side. Because the main problem that we have is that many of us live in first world countries, right? And unfortunately, due to corporate America and the rise of the divine masculine, so not being in touch with your feminine side, it's kind of hard because we are so pushed towards logic that we can't actually tune into the vibrations of the other side. And so we think that we're not capable, and then we find other people that are psychics, mediums, light workers, so and so, and we think, oh, we can't do that. We weren't chosen or picked. It's not like that. So if you want to learn how to develop your abilities, if you want to be able to connect to the other side and to understand that there's so much more to life than what meets the eye, then I hope you like this video. Please give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn the notifications on if you'd like to see more videos from me. And as always, let's get into it. So I want to start off by saying that a lot of my clients often go with well, I didn't know if I could believe it because I thought it was coincidence, right? And that's a big issue that we have. If you, like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know a shit ton on, like, third world countries, but they rely heavily on their spirituality, right? So if you talk about psychics, if you talk about having astral projection dreams, if you talk about seeing your loved ones, like, that's stuff that's normal because they are not so enthralled in, you know, being absorbed in social media, in watching TV, and all these forms of escapism that unfortunately comes with the lifestyle that we have because we have all this money to have new technology, to have new stuff. And this was already predicted, right? If you've seen The Social Dilemma on Netflix, we knew this was coming because the problem with social media is it continuously gives you dopamine hits. This has been scientifically proven. And so as you're using all of this, you know, Facebook here, Instagram here, binging TV, eating a lot of food, there's always something to escape to. And so you're never at home with yourself. And if you're not at home with yourself and you can't clear out the clutter, then you can't bring in the stuff that is literally right in front of us, but we have become so blinded to. I want you to think about children because this is how we can get back to where we're supposed to be. When you're a child, there's nothing telling you, oh, this isn't realistic. Oh, you shouldn't believe in that. So you often hear stories of children that like they'll see somebody and wave and you're like, what? Like, I don't understand. Or they have like an imaginary friend, right? We are still open when we're children because we are not being bombarded with people who have their own experiences that they want to either, you know, teach us because they just want to teach us or they want to shove it down our throats because that's their beliefs and they're stuck with it, right? So we lose sight of that childlike wonder, that belief that there's more to life. And when we lose that, it's really hard for us to connect back to what we are capable of doing, what we are capable of experiencing because there's so much more to life than what we are actually being told, especially if you live in a first world country. We're very focused on productivity, on being very logical, and when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to psychic abilities, logic goes out the window, 311 on the clock as I'm saying this, because we have to rationalize everything, right? We always need an answer, we always need facts, but we live in a time where right now even facts aren't facts. So getting back into ourselves is where we will find the clarity that we need, the answers that we need, but we have to be open to it. Because if you think about like if you've lost a loved one, right? And then like your light will randomly flicker or the TV might turn off. We have a like habit of going, oh, it's just a coincidence. Oh, technology just failed. That's where we inhibit ourselves from being able to connect to the other side because the other side does want to connect with us and we are all inherently capable of that but because we have been taught that it's not real and the only form of spirituality that we really get is in these horror movies where they depict like these evil spirits that are out to get you it's really not like that if anything like there are obviously you know there's dark because without light there can't be dark and vice versa but we have to come back home to ourselves 
quiet the mind, stop running to other things to get that dopamine hit and open ourselves up and allow that and ask our spirit guides or whatever words will help you resonate so that you can truly feel it and truly believe it. When you can get to that place, that's when you're going to start to see all the synchronicities. That's when you're going to start to experience more things and you'll be like, yeah, I could go with coincidence, but it's too many coincidences. Because in reality, at least in my personal opinion, it's a, you know, if you're logic, then you're not going to agree with me. And a big issue that we have in society is that we need to remember that it's okay to agree to disagree, right? You don't have to force your opinions on other people. If my favorite color is red and your favorite color is yellow, I'm not going to beat it into you why your favorite color should be my favorite color. But we've come that way in a larger scale in society. And so we always feel a need to fit into something and to fit into a box. And when we do that, we limit ourselves from so much more potential that we have because we don't think it's logical. So if you can open your heart up and if you can sit there and be like, I want to open up to spirit, I want to know what's going on. You don't have to believe in the word God because unfortunately it's been skewed and I'm not really a fan of that word myself, but it is very real that there is more on the other side. And we know that we have, you know, like UFO sightings that of course they want to, you know, lie about. You have super haunted houses, right? Which is really just spirits that have had traumatic incidences and they're earthbound and they're stuck. But once you can realize that that stuff does in fact exist, then you can start to teach your mind that there are other things that maybe we don't understand, but can also be real as well. And when we can get to that place where we stop denying and stop using logic, that's when we can finally embrace the other side and open up the door to the gifts that we have always had. So as you're starting this journey, I want you to start to notice things. First of all, open yourself up. I highly recommend doing like a Kundalini guided meditation to get this started, but silent meditation is also very important. I know I already hear people in my head saying, I can't keep my brain shut down. Like I get it. Grab a notebook and a pen. And when those random thoughts pop in your mind, write them down. Now you get to push it away. You can move back into silent meditation. But when you open yourself up, that's when your spirit team is going to be like, okay, they're ready to hear. So now I'm ready to give. So then you will start to see angel numbers. You will get full body chills out of nowhere. There's no science for that, guys. That's spirit. That's energy that you're feeling that we can't see because bringing it back to science, we only see a small amount of the spectrum of light that's actually in existence. So if you can wrap your mind around the fact that we don't know it all, then you can open up your mind to, well, there is more to life than this and I want to see what I can experience outside of the limitations that have been put onto my mind throughout my lifetime. So if we can go back to ourself and we can be like, spirit, I'm ready, show me signs, let me learn 111 as I'm saying this, which is new beginnings, that's when they will come to you because they don't want to disturb you. They're there for you, but it's kind of like a best friend on the back burner. They're observing you and they're waiting for you to give them the permission to come in. So when you do that, you open yourself up to seeing signs and you have to look this stuff up too. And you have to remember that again, not coincidence. We got to let go of that mind frame. More often than not, it's not coincidence. In fact, I almost don't believe in coincidence anymore because once you open your mind up to this, so many things flow and sink. Like I'm seeing a river and I'm seeing waves in my mind. It's like everything is connected. And you hear that in so many different spiritual creators. One thing that we all have in common is that we say we are all connected. It is all connected because that is the truth but we have to actually believe it or else we block out what we are capable of actually receiving from our guides. A big one that happens is clairaudience, which is the ability to hear. And that's something that happens very quickly when you open up. You'll probably start to hear songs at first and you're gonna probably go, oh, well, a song just popped into my head. I want you to think about either what you were thinking about at that time or just in general, what are the lyrics saying? Because they're not going to, spirits saying like, they don't want to scare you. Because look at how the cinema, why am I saying cinema? That's very, that was spirit. That was not me. I, I don't use that word. 
but they they show us the dark side they don't show us the realism of what it is and when you can come back to that then they can give you the signs that you need so you'll get songs like if you're having a really hard day you might hear a song like um like i'm hearing the song fight song in my head right now this is my fight song take back my life song prove i'm all right song you will start to get a lot more synchronicities if you continuously believe that there's something bigger that we don't understand you continuously allow yourself to open up to it and you trust your heart and your gut because you also need to make sure that you can listen to this stuff over your mind have to drown out the noise because your brain is the accumulation of all of your life experiences but your soul and your intuition and your gut right here that is what is going to give you what you need in order to know. It's a knowing. It's clear cognizance. It's the ability to just be like, I know. It's like when you drive and you see a license plate in front of you that says like 444, which is an angel number that's your angels are watching after you. When you can identify that these are not just coincidences, that they are signs, you are opening yourself up to more and more and more. I had my spiritual awakening like right before 2020. And in the beginning, I didn't fully see and I didn't fully hear, but I allowed myself to open that door and to be like the mind of a child where it's like, all right, let me try to believe in magic. Let me see what happens. And it went from just having feelings to having knowings to tapping into other people's energy. I suddenly became like a lie detector. Like I can read anybody now. It's because you turn this off and you tune back into this frequency, which is the frequency of love, which is the frequency of connection. And we are all connected. So when you can actually realize that that is what's going on, that is when you can open the door to your own psychic gifts. We all have them. You are capable of doing these things, but it comes very quick or it comes very slowly because if it were to come too quickly, it would scare us, right? Because if you think about it with all the movies, the, all the horror movies, even though I'm a fan myself, I'm not shitting on them, you have to realize that it subconsciously gives you fear and your guides do not want to scare you. So if you were like, I suddenly want to connect with my spirit guides. Well, a ghost is not going to just walk in your room and be like, here I am, because realistically, you're not ready for that. So it's going to be slow, consistent growth. And as long as you consistently believe that these are your guides, these are like they're showing me like breadcrumbs. Like as you follow the breadcrumbs, you will then be able to tap into what you have always had but you have to have that faith and that belief. And as you continuously let yourself believe, more and more stuff will come out. You will go from hearing songs to what sounds kind of like your voice, except it's coming out of nowhere. A thought will pop into your mind that fits exactly what it is that's going on. Your brain is going to want to fight this. And this is why a lot of people don't believe they can do it. So I need to drive it in right now so that you get it from this message. This is not coincidence. And when you can let go of that and just throw caution to the wind, because I mean, we're still in a global panorama. What is, what is the harm in having faith, right? So have that faith and believe and let them come to you because the more open you are to it, the more they can open the door for you so that you can begin to see, to hear, to know, to feel. You are fully capable. You just have to get logic out of the way because unfortunately, and I'm going to kind of end it with this, science and spirituality in a perfect world are kind of supposed to be together. Like you have herbal supplements that will help you, but if it's not enough, you move to science, right? But unfortunately, we have this division where it's like you can't believe in one. Like I'm hearing the song from that old um, sitcom where it's like, you can't have one without the other. Oh, love and marriage, that one. Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> but that's how it works. It's all one. It's all connected. But you have to believe. And if you are afraid of being judged, then do this on your own and explore it on your own until you feel secure enough. I didn't feel secure enough right away. I didn't tell people that I was seeing and hearing things. We know the stigma on that. They call it psychosis. They'll throw you into a hospital. And listen, if you feel that that's what you're going through, it's always important to get that checkup, you know. But if things are lining up in a way that you can't explain, 
It's because it's not explainable and it's because you're tapping into abilities that you have always had. You've just never allowed yourself to believe it. So this video is probably a little bit long. If you need a part two, let me know down in the comments because I love this stuff and I want people to be able to embrace what they are capable of doing. It's not, people are not picked because they're better than other people. It's just that some people are more open to embracing what is possible. And unfortunately, like I said, time and time again, we live in a society that makes you feel like you're judged if you do go onto that side. But if you were to travel, 322 on the clock, if you were to travel, you would see that it is very normal in communities where there is togetherness, where there is love, where they are not focused on climbing a ladder. They're not focused on what other people are thinking of them. They don't have that level of ego that we have been so accustomed to growing, putting on that mask, hiding who we truly are, being ashamed and not processing things, and then running to all of these options and buying and watching TV and doing drugs and drinking drinking we run away from ourselves and when we come home to ourselves that is when we can embrace what the world really has to offer us and that opens the door to even more possibilities 111 again my god more possibilities for you for your heart for your inspiration maybe you work at a job that you hate but you don't believe that it's possible to do something that your heart is calling you to do when you can remove the logic when you can remove what society has forced on us the masculine without the feminine when you can embrace that there is more to this world than we understand then you can embrace that that ability that you have always had inside of you but you have to believe it so whatever it takes, like I'm literally hearing Imagine Dragons as I said that, whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable to open that door for yourself, that is when you can let the magic in. So don't, don't I'm hearing the song, Don't Stop Believing Now. Sorry, that when I cut out, it's because they come in. Um, believe in yourself and believe that there's more and believe that you are capable. And once you do that, you open the door to possibilities that you've never dreamed of. You are inherently capable of all of these psychic gifts. But unfortunately, the world kind of stripped us of that. And now it's time to come back home to self. It's time to heal. It's time to clear the clutter in our mind. It's time to awaken to what it is that is truly around us that we've held ourselves back from because of a sick society. You can do it. I believe in you. We all have inherent psychic gifts. And as long as you keep following the breadcrumbs that spirit gives you, you keep opening bigger and better doors to reaching the other side, to reaching your guides, to reaching your passed on loved ones, to be able to help other people heal and ascend as well. If anything comes out of this video, remember that you are not just one person. The work that you do affects the people around you. It's a trickle effect. Like I'm literally seeing a waterfall in my mind. What you do affects other people. Think about somebody that's angry at a grocery store, right? And then you leave angry. Now imagine if you switch that up and you heal and then you go on to help other people and you go on to inspire other people. You are not just one person. We are all connected. So open yourself up to this and be present in that moment and realize that it's not just your mind it is spirit trying to connect with you and once you can really just go into that and if you have to do this alone for a few months or a year or two however long it takes whatever it takes imagine dragons in my head again then you can do these things and go on and help other people we are in the middle of a mass spiritual awakening and we need you and you need you so don't forget that you are fully capable and it is fully possible. So start tapping in, start doing that silent meditation, start telling spirit that you want more and that you want to learn about this and let them come to you because they will. It will be slow progressive growth because they don't wanna scare you, but it will help you awaken. You are capable. It is not people that were selected or chosen. Some of us kind of got pushed into it because it was our path, but we are all inherently capable of doing this. You just have to free yourself from the limitations of your own mind. So I'm going to leave the video at this. I hope that this was helpful. If you want a part two, I can suggest other things as well. So let me know down in the comments. 
But as always, I love you guys. I'm here for you. We do not benefit unless we are in togetherness, unless we are one, unless we fight, fight with love. And once we do that, we tap into our God essence and we tap into our ability to change the world for the better and to realize who we truly are. And that is that we are love. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a like, comment, share, subscribe, click that notification button if you want to see more videos of mine. And as always, I love you guys so much. You are so much more powerful than you give yourself credit for. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.